So I'm about to pressure wash this mower and that one too, but this video is about this machine. It uh, starts and runs. I'm gonna pull the cord for you guys in a minute. There was a uh, separate short video that I did just if it would start or not, and it did. The customer told me that they were using it and after a while it would just shut off. But uh, for this service, we're just gonna fully clean it up, uh, blow out the air filter, check the oil. I don't think the oil is all that dirty. But we're going to clean the carburetor too check the spark plug that kind of stuff see if it'll give us a start so it seems to run okay at least with that first start there's no black smoke or anything all right, so I got it mostly cleaned off. Before we mess with the front axle, we're gonna take it apart, take the carburetor off, take the gas tank off, and then uh, take the top cover off. Once we sort the carburetor out, we're gonna clean that, and we'll take the front axle off too. These are just 3 8 Obligatory spider check. Plenty of uh, stuff that shouldn't be in here. But what's nice about these is, even though these are problematic engines, they are relatively easy to service. Anyways, start pulling off the carburetor, air filter. better access to the carburetor, grab my fuel line pinchers, and pinch off the tank. Carb off. And you see I'm being really careful when I undo these linkages. And one thing I do want to make note of is this O-ring and retainer stayed behind when I pulled the carburetor off. And these just go back in, just like this. Make sure those go back on, they're important. Go ahead and pull the line off. You guys notice it's dripping fuel, it's normal. So these are easy to remove. Just pull out these two bolts, 5 16 And then I like to use a flathead and just kind of gently pry. And a good pry point here. Looks like there is some debris that came out but what we need to do is take this piece out because that's where these always clog up so grab yourself a pair of pliers it might seem like you're gonna break this but that's okay just rock her back and forth and pull it on out just like that and separate the jet and you can see where these holes need to be clear of any obstruction. Make sure everything's clean down there. These also like to clog up here, as well as up here. And these holes are a little bit smaller, so a welding tip cleaner won't work on them. 
the wire off of a steel bristle brush or some 20 thousandths safety wire will do fine. Let you just stick the wire in. Just clean it out just like this. Same thing for the bottom. Now you can also remove this float pin. I've never personally seen uh, one of these floats or needles fail on one of these carburetors. And I've done, I don't know how many of these now, a lot. Just take the pin out just like that. Take the float and the needle. Just have a good look at everything. You could shoot some carb spray through here. That'll clean things up if it's dirty. Make sure you have a good look at the throat. Now one thing to remember, on these carburetors, there's right in the center there where the hole is, there's a sort of donut that goes right in the middle. And that lines up with the hole that's right in here. I've said this in other videos and there's a better link. There's a link to a better video in the description where I describe it in better detail. But there's a hole in here and if that donut, for whatever it's called, gets moved around and misaligned with this, when you go to stick your jet assembly back in, it won't want to go back in no matter how hard you try. And that's because that hole is not lined up correctly. So if you're having issues sticking this back in, make sure you check that and reorient it. You could use, you know, flat blade screwdriver maybe and just carefully move it around or whatever you have to do. It's not really a huge deal to mess with it. Stick the float and everything back in. If you want to replace this the brand new one link is in the description as well as some other stuff for these machines so you'll see here you have an o-ring and then a little pocket for it to slide into right there seated and flush good and this can only go back on one way You'll know if it's wrong because it won't line up correctly. That's because of this. But the trigger is variable. You don't need to be too tight with these. Back on the machine it goes. Of course, before we reinstall all that, we're gonna flip it over and inspect the whole front axle and why this thing is all bowed out like this. Flip it over. You'll have a bolt here, these three, and then one more up here, which you'll have to remove. Now the bottom two, or the side two here. Yeah, it looks like it's just full of debris. We'll clean that out. That's probably the problem. Well, that was easy. Just gotta reinstall it. Now just to put the tank and carburetor back on. Blew out the filter, vacuumed it out. We can stick that back on, as well as the filter cover. So now I'm just going to pull out the spark plug. We'll check the oil level. Autolite 3924. I'll have to look that up. Still looks pretty good though. I'll clean it up a bit, but I think it'll be fine. But the oil looks reasonably clean, so I'm just gonna top it up for them.
perfect. Now just to put the beauty cover back on, we'll take her outside and let her run for a bit. All right, so I don't anticipate we're gonna have any starting issues, but pull the cord. say that they would be running it for a little while and then it would just quit what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this for 10 20 maybe 25 minutes let it get all nice and warm shut it off or see if it shut, shuts off on its own and try and restart it if that's the case it could be that we have a problem with the coil sometimes when coils fail what will end up happening is they'll open up and short themselves out internally. It's rare, but it does happen when they get warmed up. So I'm gonna try that and see if we have any issues like that. Uh, if we do, I'll clip back in, but if we don't, you guys could take this as the end of the video and this mower was good to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.